What are higher order functions in JavaScript? In this video, I'll be using a couple of examples to simplify higher order functions and to also show you how useful they can be when building applications. Higher order functions are functions which are of a higher order. And higher order here can mean either of two things. Number one, a function that takes another function as an argument. And this argument is referred to as a callback function. I have a separate video of that I'll link in the video description. And the second thing is a function that returns another function. So any function that meets either the first condition or the second condition or both conditions is referred to as a higher order function in JavaScript. An example of higher order functions you find in JavaScript are array methods like the map method. And as you know, with the map method, when you call map, then you pass a function as an argument, which means the map method is a higher order function. Let's quickly look at an example. Let's say we have an array variable which has one, two, three. Then here we call array.map. Then here we pass a function as an argument, which is the callback function. Then here this function would receive the value in every loop. So in the first loop, it will receive the value of one. In the second loop, it will receive two. In the third loop, it will receive three. And then here, let's just say we console log value. So if I come here and I run this file, you can see we have the first loop value is one. We console log it as one, two, three, which means map here is a higher order function because it takes a function as an argument. But let me show you how you can also create your own higher order function so I'm just going to comment this so let's say we have a function called loop true array then here we have the array that we want to loop through and then secondly we have the callback which is the function argument then here what we're just going to do is a for loop let's initialize our i variable to zero the condition is i less than array dot length then we increment the i variable. And here, all we're just going to do is constant value. We get um, the value at this particular index, which is going to be zero in the first loop. In the second loop, it will be one. And then all we're going to do now is we're going to call the callback function, which we pass as an argument. And then we're going to pass this value as an argument to that callback function. So here we have loop true array, which is a higher order function, not because it receives an array, but because it receives a function as an argument. So now we can, as this let's say we have our callback function here and this function receives a value argument and then here we're just going to say console.log value is and then we have the value now if we come back here and we use this higher order function called loop true array the first argument it expect is an array so we're going to pass this array that we have declared above array here and then the second is the callback function which is this one we have declared here so we pass callback function if i come here and i run this file you can see now that we have value is one value is two value is three how does it work see the higher order function executes the callback function on each loop which we have here. So loop true array is a higher order function. And as you can see, creating higher order functions allows you to execute a function from another function. We have loop true array, we pass this callback function and loop true array can execute this callback function whenever it likes. And here also we can specify how we want that callback function to look like. But this is not all about higher order functions. Like I mentioned, higher order function is also a function that returns another function. So let me show you an example. Let's say we have a function called generate print function. This does not receive any argument, but let's say in this function, we return another function which receives a message argument. And then here we just say console.log message. Generate print function is also a higher order function because because it returns a function. So now we can say, for example, constant print is equals to generate print function and we execute this. Now, when you execute generate print function, this is what is returned. So this would be returned to print, which means we can come here and we can say print and then we can pass the message argument. So let's say print I am decode. If I come here and I run this, um, you can ignore these first three logs, but you see here we have I am decode. This higher order function returns this function, which is assigned to the print variable. And now we can execute the print variable and also pass an argument for the message. Now there are so many advanced ways you can use higher order functions, either to take a function as an argument or to return another function. But in this video, I've shown you some examples that shows you what a higher order function is, why it is called a higher order function. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications for more concepts I will be simplifying in JavaScript.